Hey everyone, Devanshu here. Just wanted to demonstrate my Google Summer of Code project that I have been working on. So, as you can see, I have installed the extension on my browser and I will use it to demonstrate you how it works. In my hand is an Xbox One controller and as you can see on the bottom left of the screen, there would be a visual controller that will show what buttons I am pressing at the moment and will help you to visualize the buttons that i am pressing will lead to what actions on the browser to start with the first thing that i would like to do is navigate to a web page where i will be able to demonstrate you these features so i've opened up the medium website the first feature that i would like to demonstrate is tabbing so tabbing is one of those features which you use to navigate across various links and clickable elements to uh, interact with them for tabbing you usually press tab key on a keyboard or to uh, follow the reverse order you do press shift plus tab and we can do both of that with our gamepad using the left and right bumpers if i press that right bumper as you can see it has focused on the medium icon and if i do that again it will focus to the very next element and it can be done simultaneously to navigate to various other focusable elements so this is how forward tabbing works and to demonstrate the reverse tabbing i'll use the left bumper so like if i press my left bumper it will focus on the previous element and like that so like you went back all the way to where we started and that's how reverse tabbing works so the next feature that i want to demonstrate is clicking on these tabbable elements so like if i go to one of the clickable elements like this yeah this article link and i can click on that using my gamepad so the button for clicking on that is a button and if i press the a button it will open up that article so that's how clicking works the next feature that i want to talk about is scrolling so scrolling is a very important feature especially in websites like this where you have readable content and you want to go through all of that but the web page cannot fully store the content in the whole viewport you definitely need scrolling for that so if i move my left thumbstick down it will scroll down and the scrolling is not limited to only one direction you can scroll in all the four directions so like now i did is down scrolling and i can scroll that back up and similarly we have left and right scroll but the idea is you can scroll the whole page using your thumbstick or any other gamepad input that you can configure so that's scrolling and the other thing that i would like to demonstrate is zooming so zooming is also a very uh, interesting features that we want to use on websites like these where the content size might be a lot smaller or maybe bigger than what we actually want and we would like to adjust them according to uh, our convenience so i will move the left uh, i mean the right thumbstick upward so as you can see it has zoomed in and to zoom out i can move my left thumbstick down so as you can see it has zoomed out so let me just restore the size back okay so we are back to normal so that's how zooming works the next thing that we have is history navigation history navigation is what when we press this uh, history back button or if we have the history forward button enabled we can do that to do so using the gamepad i'll use the x and y buttons on the gamepad so x corresponds to back button and uh, y corresponds to the, the forward button so i'll press the x button and here you notice that we came back to the previous page now we have enabled is the history next button so we can use the y button as well to navigate to the same page so that's how history navigation works all right now what we have are some advanced features compared to what we discussed previously and 
the first one that I want to show you is opening new tabs in modern browsers which support multiple tabs. This feature is very important so that you can go, uh, you can open up multiple tabs and browse on multiple websites. In my gamepad, if I press the start button, it will open up a new tab and you notice that it has opened up google.com instead of a blank new tab page so that's a setting under the gamepad extension and you can change that according to your convenience that's how you open a new tab and similarly you can close that as well just by pressing the right thumbstick button so here i do it okay so it has closed the tab and you can pretty much control everything with tabs like if you open a new tab and you want to switch between tabs without closing them you can do that you have left and right d-pad buttons so if i press my left d-pad button it will switch to the previous tab and if i press the right d-pad button it will switch to the next tab another thing that i want to share is you can choose to switch from the last tab to the first tab like if i press the d-pad right button it will switch to the first tab so that's how switching tab works and also if i choose to close these tabs uh, what i can do is i can reopen them using my gamepad for that i have d button on my gamepad and if i click that you see it will open up that tab and to like demonstrate it is not that I am opening a new tab. I'll close this tab. And if I press the B button again, it will reopen the same tab. So that's how reopening tab works. And similar stuff we can do for windows as well. So like the first thing you can do is open up a new window using the back button on the gamepad. So that's about opening new windows. And you can also choose to switch between them using the d-pad up and down buttons so like d-pad up will go to the previous window and d-pad down will go to the next window and also you can choose to close these windows as well like if i press the left thumbstick button it will close the whole window and to reopen these windows you will use the same b button that we used during reopening tabs uh, so we have kept the same button as this is the default browser behavior where they open up the last browser session be it a tab or a window so that's how the features for tabs and windows are and i think these are pretty interesting features so before i cover up the remaining features i just want to show you the configuration panel for our gamepad and this is how it looks like in dark mode from here you can choose any input for your gamepad and decide what action it needs to do currently the button a is set to click functionality and i can change it to maximize the current browser window and button one to restore the size of current browser window. so if i now save it it will update the buttons functionality and if i go back now if i click on the button b it will restore the size of the browser window and if i click on button a it will maximize the size of current browser window so that's how configuration panel works and the remaining two features that we just covered that's it for the tutorial thank you